In this video, we're going to be talking about finding winning products for Amazon FBA. And what I personally love about selling on Amazon is that you're making a long-term business that you can even expand outside of Amazon. You can even sell in Walmart. You can make your own website. You can sell from there. You can just expand, make your own Shopify account. You can sell on eBay, Walmart, even do retail. Amazon is just a little piece of it, but you can even expand to different countries that Amazon is rolling out to as well. So this is what I love about selling on Amazon and how you can grow a long-term business. So when it comes to winning products and doing this whole Amazon thing, what I personally use is Helium 10. Helium 10 is a software that I personally recommend you to use if you're trying to grow a long-term business, especially with selling on Amazon. It's one of the best tools I personally have used and it's allowed me to grow year over year with Amazon. If you're interested in Helium 10, I'm going to have a link down below for you guys. It's going to give you a discount code. It's going to be in the description as well as in the pinned comments. It's going to help you guys out with the discount code if you're interested in this software. So Helium 10 is what I personally use to find all my winning products. And you can see here without this tool, I personally don't know if I would have grown as much as I have had because it gives you all of the data when it comes to Amazon related to the competition, how you can rank higher, how you can get on the first page. You need to have all that information. That way you have an advantage when it comes to selling on Amazon. So right here is my profits from last year, uh, profits of 420,000 and over a million dollars in sales. As of yesterday, I made two, a little over $2,000 in profit. And on average, I'm averaging around $2,000 profit per day and it's growing every year. So like last year, I think it was a little less than $2,000. The first year I was selling, I was making around 300, went to 600 the next year, 900 the next year. That's what I love about Amazon. It's just a growing long-term business. And I'm only selling in the US currently. I could even expand to Canada, UK, Dubai, Australia, I'm allowed to do all of that. I just haven't done that at the moment, but that's even more growth that I could potentially have with my online business. So if you want to find some products to start selling online, what you would go is to tools and click black box. This is Amazon product research. So when it comes to selling on Amazon, Helium 10 allows you to see exactly how much people are selling every day on every type of product. So this is going to give you an understanding if uh, if there's a good product to start selling or not, if it's too competitive or not. Um, and it, all this data is really going to help you grow a long term business. If you just pick a random product to start selling, odds are you're going to fail because you don't even know how competitive or not it is on Amazon. And there are some products, especially my first product that I launched. When I first launched it, it was an amazing product. And this was like five years ago. It was an amazing product. It did really well. I sold out during Christmas. But if I did that today, it's extremely competitive and I would have lost. And at the moment, it's probably my worst performing product, even though five years ago, it was an amazing product. So once you're on black box here, you're more than welcome to uh, copy and paste all of these categories that I'm going to place in here for you guys. Um, what I personally like to sell are baby products, beauty, personal care. I like to stay away from clothing, um, automotive. I don't want, let's go, uh, health and household, home and kitchen's a good one. Kitchen and dining, pet supplies is also a really good one. Office products, tools and home improvement. Okay. For sellers, we're going to put one and one for price. We're going to put, let's put $18. $299. Okay. For shipping size, we're going to put small and large standard. We don't want anything that's really big or heavy when it comes to selling on Amazon. And I personally put three pounds or less. I don't like to sell anything over three pounds because of shipping costs. So you want to have it small and light. The smaller, the better personally, just because of the shipping costs and Amazon FBA fees. So monthly revenue minimum $8,000 for your first product. This is, this is setting you up for the best results possible. OK, 
Okay, and let's see. I'm missing one thing. I know um, fulfillment right here. We're going to put FBA. FBA stands for fulfilled by Amazon. This is when your products are on Amazon Prime and you don't have to worry about shipping it out yourself. Amazon does all the hard work for you. All you have to do is supply Amazon the product, send it to their warehouse. When a customer buys your product, Amazon ships it, delivers it to the customer, and you collect all the money. Of course, you have to pay an Amazon FBA fee and um, a shipping fee, which is not that bad if you count if you add and calculate all the stuff, it's, it actually allows you to scale even faster with Amazon. So we're gonna click Amazon FBA. FBM stands for Fulfilled by Merchant, which is when you ship out the product. And this is not Amazon Prime, so I don't recommend it. And this one here, Amazon, is when it's shipped and sold by Amazon. And this is when Amazon is selling their own products. So FBA, we're gonna click search. And this is going to give you a list of products that start selling on Amazon. And let's keep, let's scroll. And what I want you to do when it comes to finding winning products on Amazon is that you want to click and go through a bunch of products. So you want to click here. Let's keep clicking. And I'm, I'm going to show you exactly what I personally do to see if the product is competitive or not and what you need to do to see how much profit that you're going to be making per product. So we're going to just keep scrolling. I personally would recommend you to find 20 product ideas and really take your time with this. You're going to keep going through this, click a bunch of these that you can see that are small and light that you can see that might have potential when it comes to selling on Amazon. So here are a couple of product ideas, right? This product is um, a French Bulldog leash. So you can click here with the Helium 10. You're able to get a plug-in with Helium 10. And you're able to see how much sales you're doing every day. So this person is doing on average, you know, 10 to 20 units on average per day, selling this at $34, which is extremely high. And I could, I bet for a fact that they're making way over 35% profit margin. So what I aim for with all my products is a profit margin of 35% or higher. So what you would do in this situation, right, is that let's say you wanted to sell this exact thing, right? So let's say this is something that you wanted to sell. So what you're going to be doing here is finding something like this on Alibaba.com. Let's go Alibaba dog harness. You would put French Bulldog Harness. You would put max price. Let's put $4. I think you could get that exact product for around $2 to $3. And you can find these exact products, very something very similar. I personally think these are nicer than the one over on this one. And let's say we want to sell this product, right? So let's say we have a supplier and the cost. After we talk to the supplier, we find out that the product is around $2. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go on Google. You're gonna go on Google and you're gonna put Amazon FBA calculator. You're gonna go back to this listing here. <clears throat> the ASIN's here after DP slash, right? Or you can find the ASIN down here at the bottom. So you're gonna copy this ASIN. Let's go here, copy. We go back to Amazon FBA calculator after we search on Google. Click it, continue as guest. We're gonna type it in here. And what this does is it shows you how much profit you're gonna be making when it comes to Amazon. So the product that this person's selling at $34, let's say we can get this product at $3 and shipping cost for, um, for this cost, I'm just gonna include the shipping. Shipping for this would be on average 50 cents, I would believe. And you can see that the profit margin you'll be making per item you sell is $20, a net margin of almost 60%. Absolutely insane. Like this is just a lot of, this is crazy because this person only has what? 150 reviews, 150 reviews, very small product. They're selling on average 10 to 20 units per day. So 10 units per day 
and if they're making 20 they're, they're making two hundred dollars profit if they're just selling 10 units on this simple product right here so if you're selling 20 units you're making what four hundred dollars profit off this item per day and you're literally not having to do much all you have to do is supply the product to amazon's warehouse so personally what i like to do is sell small products like this something like very simple like this right and you want to have a high profit margin when it comes to selling on amazon what you really want to do is you want to focus on something that's small and light something that weighs less than three pounds that way shipping cost is very low when it comes to buying your product from China and sending it to Amazon's warehouse, that cargo shipment is going to be a lot cheaper. And especially when a customer buys the product, Amazon's shipping fees would be cheaper as well. It's going to give you a higher profit margin. It's going to also grow your business long term, and you're going to be able to invest in more products and more products. Personally, what I like to do when it comes to selling on Amazon is I like to focus on products that are going to make me $250 to $350 per product. And then I like to, after that, scale to the next one and the next one and just keep growing my business from there. It's, you don't want to just find the best product possible and just like, you know, go full in on it. I personally like to find small products, make good money on them, consistent money, and then grow from there and make a long-term business. That's personally what I like to do and what I found success when it comes to selling on Amazon. So. Well, I personally like small and light products, right? Profit margin of 35% or higher. So you can see here, Seller Central, this is actually 60%. So I aim for 35% or higher, and I make sure that it's not competitive and has a high search volume on Amazon. You can see this product here only has 150 reviews, which shows you that this person's making a full-time income making good money. If you average only just $300 per day off one product, in one year, that's $100,000 profit that you're making just selling one product on Amazon. Then you're able to scale and grow it and keep growing your business from there. So you wanna make sure that you want, when you find products that start selling on Amazon, and you find those winning products, that they're not so competitive and that they're small and light, and have a high profit margin of 35% or higher. So if you have any questions regarding this, leave a comment down below. Also, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. And if you want to take Amazon serious, I also have a free course for you guys where it teaches you all the beginner steps when it comes to selling on Amazon. It goes from making your first Amazon Southern Central account to getting ranked on the first page, to doing all this absolutely for free. There's nothing needed. You can literally start learning how to sell on Amazon two minutes from now. I'm gonna have it in the link down below. And I also have a more advanced course on there. The beginner course is gonna have like over 30 plus videos for you. And the more advanced course is something if you wanna take it like a full-time, you wanna make it a full-time career, full-time job, then you can always check out that advanced course as well. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions regarding anything, leave a comment down below. I read all the comments. I try to help you guys out as much as possible. I'll reply to them. And yeah, that's about it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Peace.